What's going on guys? DJ here at CV Mods and today we'll be installing Rotoro's carbon ceramic brake kit on our VB. So our shop car does have JDM STI brakes already installed on it. They were put on for the SEMA show, but the reason we were removing these and throwing the Rotoro kit on is due to the fact that these brakes were meant for a VA chassis. So that we did have to retrofit it a little bit just to get them to fit on the car. But with the new kit, this was specifically made for the VB chassis. So this is basically a full bolt-on kit with everything you need in the box. Rotora has been around for 20 years plus and is very well known in the race world for sponsoring D1 GP cars in the early 2000s. This kit is the RCCBS or the Rotora Carbon Ceramic Brake System. They feature forged aluminum lightweight calipers, six pots in the front, four pots in the rear, a set of carbon fiber reinforced silicone carbide discs and forged aluminum 6061 T6 hats. Aluminum caliper brackets, stainless steel braided lines, and a set of C2 Street track compound pads formulated specifically for the RCCBS kit. Before we can get started with the installation, we're going to have to take off the old brake kit. Rotora does offer many different caliper color options as well, including red, orange, yellow, green, light metallic blue, dark metallic blue, silver, gloss black, black hard anodized, naturally anodized, or white. They also do offer rotors that are drilled, slotted, or drilled and slotted. This brake kit comes in right around a cool $12,000. While we understand this is not the brake kit for the average consumer, we wanted to showcase it on our Halo car. Rotora offers many other brake kits for the VB chassis, as well as almost every other Subaru. We here at CB Mods are the exclusive Rotora North American dealer. We have three of these brake kits featured for the VB on our website, the Type 1, Type 2, and Type 3. The Type 1 comes with the four pot in the front, two pot in the rear, 332 by 32 millimeter two piece slotted front rotor, and a 312 by 20 millimeter one piece rear slotted rotor. The Type 2 kit also features a four pot in the front, two pot in the rear caliper setup with a 355 by 32 two piece slotted front rotor and a 350 by 29 two piece slotted rear. The Type 3 brake kit features a six pot in the front, four pot in the rear, a 355 by 32 millimeter one piece slotted front rotor and a 350 by 29 two piece slotted rear. All right guys, now that we have everything off the knuckle assembly, we can finally mount our bracket. We will be reusing the OEM bolts and the bracket goes on just like that. Uh, we will be putting some Loctite on these and these get torqued down to 55 foot pounds. Now that our bracket is finally on the hub assembly, we can finally put on our rotor. We're just gonna throw a couple of lug nuts on it. Just to hold it in place while we put on the actual caliper. So installing your pads into this caliper is a fairly straightforward process. You get your spring clip, and that sits right in the middle of the caliper. Just like that. And you apply a little bit of grease on the back side of your pad and they sit right on top of the spring clip. Just like that and this caliper is ready for install. We can now finally put on our caliper. Make sure that the bleeder hoses are facing up. I already have this caliper prepped. I already got the pads in on the spring clip. And now all we have to do is slide it on. Just like that. We have washers and jet nuts. 
these get threaded on to the bracket. These jet nuts get torqued down to 40 foot pounds. Now that everything has been installed, the last thing we have left to do is put on the new brake line. And just like that, front caliper has been installed. I would also like to note that the rear dust covers do need to be either removed or modified to be able to fit the larger rotors. All right, now that our bracket has been installed, we can go ahead and put on our rotor. All right, now that our rotor is on, bleeder side up, mount caliper and just like that caliper is on All right, final thing left to do, hook up the brake line. All right guys, and that concludes our installation video on the RCCBS brake kit from Rotora on our 2022 WRX. Uh, all that we have left to do is bed the pads and bleed the brakes. We are using a RBF Motul brake fluid. It's super high quality. You can get that on our website. Uh, we couldn't have been more satisfied with the quality of this product, the comprehensive instruction and the straight bolt on solution. Uh, be sure to check out the Rotora offerings on our website and reach out to us if you have any custom orders. Like always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that, and I'll see you guys next time.